The scripture reading is from Mark, Mark 15, verses 25 through 32. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews, and with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, aha, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, he saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. Amen. How different the events of this passage are from the events of Palm Sunday just a few days ago. As Christ entered Jerusalem this week, there were those who were shouting Hosanna. They were shouting, save us. They were laying down their cloaks and providing for Christ the entrance of a king. But the people around him in today's scripture were acting very differently. Those in today's passage were not yelling, save us, but rather they were shouting, save yourself. They mock him. The chief priests and the scribes mock him. Even those who were crucified with him mock him. And what's more, they test him, saying, if you are who you say you are, then come down from the cross and save yourself. Make me believe. The people who were around Christ while he was nailed to the cross were behaving in much the same way as they had before, putting Christ to the test in an effort to prove themselves right, in an effort to prove him not the Messiah. But Christ had been tested by much stronger than these. Even Satan had tested him, tested him with the temptation of the flesh, with the temptation of the eyes, and with the temptation to test God. So although he is mocked, and although he is tested, he turns only to God. For after an earthly lifetime of saving others from sickness, from disease, from evil, and from hopelessness, he now will not save himself so that each of us might be saved. It is through his love for us that he made this sacrifice on the cross. And it is through his love for us that he continues to save us today. Let us pray. Holy God, as we reflect on the crucifixion of your Son, let us do so receptive to and fully aware of the great love with which his sacrifice was made. It's in your Son's holy name we pray. Amen.